Hey creatives, it's Mixed Media Monday and I'm Rita Barricat. Tonight we're gonna talk about what's in your stash. You know, seriously, what is in your stash? Because I don't know about you, but I have a lot of paint, I've got a lot of paper, I've got stamps, I've got stencils, I've got ribbons, I've got all kinds of crazy stuff. So I grabbed a few things and thought that we could make together some really cute little tags. Um, let me show you. You know, something like this, something like this and with all of our stash. So yours are gonna look different than mine, but I just wanna give you some ideas to get those creative juices flowing. Okay, let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making these cute little tags. And of course, everybody's is gonna be different depending on what kind of scraps you have at home. Now, these are just random papers that I picked. Uh, you can see, you know, I've been doing little cutouts out of them because I just happen to like them and I like that these colors go together. So make sure that it's, you know, things that are going to go together. So I grab some punches, right? I've got this bird punch, that's how I use this, this tag punch that I used for all of them. And I also, let's see, let's just grab... easy. I am not above ripping paper or, or cutting paper. Um, you know, whatever works. So if you want to make a ton of these though, I would suggest you use, um, if you have a machine like a Cricut, you know, some type of cutting machine. So let me set these aside. So in addition, so I've got these tags here. And in addition to the tags, oh no, I only have one bird. Let's cut another one. But you can make a ton at the same time if you have um, one of those machines. I do, but sometimes I just, I just want to make a few things. I don't really want to get all into it um, so I will just put out pull out my handy dandy punches all right so now we've got our second bird so you can punch out your shapes and we're gonna do I also grabbed some watercolor paint. These are really pretty and shimmery. Um, they have really, um, I, you can't see them in the video, but they, see, I don't think you can see it. I'm turning it, but I doubt that you can see it because it's very, very subtle, the shimmer in them. They're super pretty. All right, so we've got, This one's gonna face this way. Like this one. And this one. Um, I do have this really cool fabric um, tape, you know, but you can use your washi tape, whatever you have. But it, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of yellow lately and it's really odd because it's not usually my thing. <laughs> All right, um, let's do some stamping. So I have this uh, large stamp. This one's from Penny Black, and I'm just gonna use this part of it. So I didn't grab a big giant acrylic board, but I did also grab a couple of words. So these words are chosen and blessed. It's, um, it's from a stamp set, and it doesn't have the name on it. It just has the stamps that are on it. Um, it's an adoption set that we got when we got our, our kids. Um, three of our kids are adopted. And so I'm always looking for, you know, adoption stamps, that kind of a thing. Um, for them to make things. Okay. I'm using VersaClear. And... Stamp it. 
So you wanna use ink when you're painting that is not going to move. So you want it to say pigment ink or India ink, that works really well. Those two work really well. You can paint on top of it or archival. That also works really well. So just make sure it says that. So pigment, India, archival. You know, somewhere on there that it says permanent. So that when you go to paint something, it's not bleeding. Now on these I'm using, I use the brown and I do like that. I think I might use the brown on this too. I use the black on these, but now I'm thinking maybe we'll switch it up. All right. Now the thing about these tags, Okay, if we, if we want to call them tags. They don't have to be a tag shape. They could be a circle, they could be a scallop, they could be anything, a diamond, whatever you have. Um, the point is really just to, one, get yourself going and get creative, right? Do something artsy that kind of gets you in the mood to craft. Or also um, to use your stash, use what you already have. So think of uh, whatever stash you have, just pull a bunch of things, you know, pull a couple of nice words that you like. Um, I love these words, chosen and blessed. Those are words I use all the time. Um, when you have adopted kids, you, we use the word chosen all the time. But we also use chosen for our, you know, chosen family because we have friends that are just like family, if not closer. Um, you know, and those are our chosen friends the word chosen a lot with adoption. So, you know, find some words that you like. I like this little saying, says why not? And this one says create. And, you know, find some words that mean something to you. Or if you're making it for somebody else, you know, find something that means something to them. Or maybe um, get an alphabet stamp set and write out their name and you can do tags for like, Thanksgiving or Christmas on gifts, that whole type of thing. All right, so this one, we're just gonna take some of this tape. Hey you guys, this stuff is old. It's in, it's been in my stash. So um, it's not like the latest and the thing. The the point is not to go out and replicate exactly. The point is to something out of your stash. So I'm using these foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. Now I will tell you, you do not need a ton of foam squares. This little fabric is just pink to me. <laughs> okay, let's put that on there. Okay, super cute. So there's that one. Um, I really liked once I, I my original intention was to paint these, but I really like the way that they look. So I'm just going to leave that alone. I need to find another little word for that one. Oh, this one. Right, we need to stamp this little piece. So we're just going to tear this piece off. And I'm tearing it towards me so I get that little white line. I don't know if you can see that there. White line on the end and the edge. And let's stamp that really quick. gonna move this. Let me stand over here. It's all good. There we go. Perfect. Right, so now we have our little piece. So that one's gonna be a little different. We are gonna paint that one. So these two are done. These two we gotta paint and this one. Let's put our foam square on there. And we only need a 
couple. Okay, but I will say too, not all foam squares are created equal. So if you've got some wimpy foam squares, you might need more, but the scrapbook adhesive ones are really good. So that one's done, and then I just need to put a jump ring right here somewhere. All right, so let's do our watercolor. Now, when you're using a watercolor, you know, on such a small surface, you don't have to worry about it. This is just scrapbook paper. It's just something I had in my stash, and it works just fine because we're not drenching it. We're just, you know, getting a small paintbrush and adding a little bit of color. So I'm going to spray my paints first. And I tend to go light to dark. So I'm gonna go light. And I'm leaving some room for another color. This one too. Now it's not green, it just looks green because the paper. We could add even a little bit of this yellow to the leaves. Let me pop in a minute. One of the things that I love about watercolors is that you can layer them. So once it's dry, you can move on to the next color. And here I'm going in with the next color without it being dry because I want it to bleed a little bit in the middle. Just kind of touching those edges. So I want the colors to bleed into each other. And you could, you could wet your, your area first and then add this paint. I like the paint to be a little bit darker, um, a little bit more vibrant. Um, that's just what I personally like, so that's why I do it this way. I, I want the colors to really pop. Whereas traditional, you know, watercolor is a little bit more muted and painterly and um, subtle. I'm like, well, you know, by my hair, I, I'm not subtle <laughs> at all, at all, not even in my paintings. Have. I mean, you might even have stickers around that you can use. You just have to think out of the box. Let me use this for something. Can we add this pink? I really like checks. <laughs> um, we, could add, we could add this to the bottom of here. Let's do it on this one. Because this one's dry. This does have an adhesive on the back. I don't know if this company is still making the tapes. If it is, it's um, from Love My Tapes. Because remember, it was in my stash. It's a little short. Okay. Okay, so we have this one, and let's do. 
I also want it to dry. And you can punch holes in these if you want, or you can staple ribbon to the top. You can do whatever you want. This one, I added a cute little key. Um, I tend to like keys, you know, whatever you like, because if you're giving somebody a gift, I tend to put something on there that has, that it is for them, but it has a little bit of me in there too. So here we have the chosen, we have the create. This one, let's add, we can go ahead and adhere, we can adhere this, and we can add the tape. Let's add the pink tape to the bottom. At least that piece is dry, it's not, it doesn't hurt anything. I think I want to raise it up a little bit, let's see how it looks. So it's a little bit different than the other one, but that's okay. And so with these, all of these little, little embellishments that you're making, one, it kind of, it lets you make a quick, easy project. Oops, I forgot to take the top off. And you're making a bunch of embellishments for a future project. You can collage these, you can use these in your art journals, you can use them in your planners. You know, you could put dates on them or you can use them as tags for a gift or you can use them um, as a place setting, right? You can make two, they could be sitting up. And it would be really cute if you put their, somebody's name on it as a place setting. So there's so many different things that you can do with these and we all have a ton of stash um, in our crafty and artsy places. So I just want you to do something fun, something creative, and I hope that that inspires you. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope that you like that project. It's super easy, super fun to do, and you can use up some of that stash that you already have, which is a really good thing. And, you know, I'd like to think of others, so, you know, Think of others that maybe you can make somebody's day by handing them a little card and just writing on the back saying, um, you were a great waitress, or you just did a great job today, or um, uh, you have the best smile, you know, and you can just hand them this little tag. So just something to make somebody else's day or use in your workbooks or whatever have you. This is fun stuff, easy to do. I hope that you like this video and you'll give it a thumbs up and you'll subscribe so that you'll know every time that we are here on Mixed Media Monday, every Monday night. All right, so hopefully um, that helps you out. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them um, below and I will be happy to answer them. All right, see you next time. I'm Rita Bearcat and this is Mixed Media Monday. Bye. Oh,